Today is going to be part 20 of our complete application in ASP.NET, C Sharp and SQLite and this part is going to be really very short. So what we want to do now is to add a way to protect some of the pages or some of the resources in your application. Currently when we run this application it goes directly to the home page. So what we want to do is that before it goes to the home page, the user has to uh, log in to access the home page. Now for you to put these restrictions, meanwhile I want to rec remind you to subscribe to my channel uh, so that you don't miss anything. And also if you are starting, if you are just joining the video right now, it means you need to go back to start from the beginning. That's why I used to say, please, uh, you can uh, support my channel and also leave me a comment if you have any challenges whatsoever. So when this application starts up, it goes directly to the home page. Now this home page uh, is defined or is served by the home controller. So if I go to the solution explorer and I go to the controllers, everything is happening inside this place. Of course, I've not added all the controllers, so this you can do. If I go to the home controller right now, I want the user to log in before he can access the home controller. And the step is right here in my website, open the home controller and annotate with authorize. That means that before the uh, person accesses the home page, he has to be authorized. So I'm going to the home controller and I'm going to annotate this class here with authorize like this. So, uh, save everything and I need to import or add the using a line. So we have authorized. So what it means is if you go to the home page, it's going to request for authorization. It's going to redirect the login page first and the user has to log in before he can access the home page. So now I'm going to launch this application and Again, if, he, if the user is not able to log in, maybe he doesn't have a user account, he can also now register and log in and then go to the home page. So let's see how it plays out. Meanwhile, let me just check if there are some users existing here. So let me just go at 200. So it doesn't show up. All right, so you can see now it goes to the, to the, um, to the page for the user to log in. So if I log in, I don't remember uh, the password I used, but let me just try this one. Oh, okay, so I don't remember, so I can just go to register and register uh, a new account. I'm going to say Kyneson and uh, Kyneson Tech Pro 1 at Yahoo. And I'm going to add my password. So I register and fine. I'm going to now go to login. I think I can go to login here. Let's go back to oh, I can just try to access the home page one more time. So it takes me to the login page and um, this one and it's going to be okay so now it requires a uh, login confirmation which we need to disable so um, so I'm going to go back let's disable login confirmation so that we can actually um, log in without confirming a newly created account so what we are going to do is go to the identity hosting startup, uh, which is somewhere in the areas, identity hosting startup, this one. And we are going to the services, which is here, and say services dot, um, let me just try to be sure exactly of what I'm doing. Let me just take all this. Okay. Um, see 
All right, so this so you can see options that sign in that require or require uh, confirmed accounts false is true, but we want to change that right now. So let me just create make the code to be a little bit more readable. Uh, option okay, so you can see that we can now change this to false. Okay, you can also add these two more lines, the required confirmed email, uh, required uppercase or um, confirmed email false. So let me just paste the three of them and it makes life easier. Okay, so now when we register a user, we don't have to confirm, we can just use the account as well. So I'm going to run this application one more time and we are going to create a user and then use the same user account to log in. All right, so it starts up and let's see. So now all these links here does not work for now. So you can actually, um, okay, this works. Okay, so I'm going to create a new user now. And let me use kind on the tech pro two and so I'm going to uh, register. Okay, so save. So at this point, I'm going to try to go back to the home page, and I'm going to sign in. Invalid login attempts. Ah, so you can see I forgot to change this to, to, to so it's gonna be false here. So Okay, so we've been able to log in using the same account and that is just fine. So at this point, um, we, are, we have to now talk about the next steps. There are many other things we have to do and we are going to now talk about it in the next part. So I want to thank you for viewing. I want to thank you for getting this far because if you've come this far, it means you've really done so well. So let's see in the next part. Remember, you can always reach me by writing me a comment and also you can also... Um, uh, support me subscribe to my channel if you have uh, if you want to learn more and also feel free to share and like my videos if it has been informative for you i'm kind on the tech pro and i'm always there for you